So, uh, you know, what precipitated the the change for Stewart? What what makes you consider uh, SD WAN? So, Bill, so as you know, we're the largest physician owned uh, and operated healthcare system in the U.S. You know, over the last ten years, we have acquired. We have gone from basically six hospitals to thirty five hospitals around a little bit less than 100 ambulatory practices to over 500 ambulatory practices in the U.S. We have a facility in Malta we purchased recently, and we went from one state, Massachusetts, to nine states across the U.S. So over the last 10 years, there's been a significant amount of acquisitions um, with, um, within Stewart, um, causing us uh, to look at our network and realizing that you know the, those acquisitions, we brought them into Stewart, but never really re-engineered the the, the, the wide area network. Um, and saying that, so sort of obviously that caused you know us a lot of pain in regards to the applications that we're running. We have over over six to eight hundred applications running uh, right now across the, the U.S. And uh, there has been significant latency and bandwidth issues associated with the touch of those applications. So, so Mike, so let's actually, let's start there. So Stewart is in how many states now? Stewart is in uh, right now in nine states across the U.S. Nine states. How, how broad? I mean, is it mostly New England or is it all, all the way across the country? It's all the way across the country. It's Texas, Arizona, Utah, Florida, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Massachusetts. Did I miss one? I think that's good. Well, I mean that, yeah. So that covers that covers the gambit. And so, how when you acquired these originally, you just left the data centers in place and sort of connected them all up through a through a MPLS network, that kind of thing. Yeah, they were just plugged in. Uh, some of them were plugged in uh, to you know, t- you know, I mean, they were plugged in to get to our EMR and uh, as well as our, you know, obviously our network from a uh, from a financial in a in a, you know email and email and uh, communications perspective. But others which were just were left were left alone in their you know with their with their you know applications in this in their own data centers and come and uh, connect into that. Wow. All right. So so you decide to go out and take a look at all right. We're gonna we're gonna bring these things together and and try to have a coordinated architecture. And so what what led you in the direction of SD WAN? So. <laughs> Uh, a number of things, right? You know, what, we, what we've, what, besides the, the, besides the improve, looking for improvement in our performance, our application performance, which is key, right? We're looking to lower the complexity, you know, simplifying the operations capability and obviously reducing cost. You know, over the last, you know, COVID, over the last COVID months, let me say it that way, right? There's been a significant amount of, uh, you know, audio, audio, video capability that needs to happen. And uh, sitting on our current network, specifically out in the West, was not going to work at all. And uh, that drove, that drove, that drove this initiative. Yes.